Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the one true God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to send salutations to all the Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, exalting the name of Yahweh and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, in truth and in sincerity. All right, this lesson is going to be about the name of the Lord. You can never do enough videos on the name of the Lord because the name of the Lord is so important. And, uh, you know, in some of these uh, Hebrew Israelite groups, they teach that you don't have to, um, you know, praise the name of the Lord or or that you can call him anything or that the Lord has many names. But the Lord does not have many names. He has many titles, but one name. OK, and the name of God is Yahweh. And the name of his only begotten son is Yahweh Shai. All right. And we're going to praise those names. All right. Forever. Because those names are forever. Okay. So. With that being said. You know, it's, it's important to know the names because you have to repent. And the Lord has to. Has to have a relationship with you, man. All right. In order to have a relationship with somebody, you got to know their name. You know, you're not going to go years and years. You know, of of saying that you love someone and you don't know their name so the lord is going to reveal his his secrets unto his prophets and the, the name the name is a secret because you know not everybody knows the name of the lord but everybody knows jesus or yahshua or or whatever the only reason why yahweh or yahweh shai is even prevalent in the earth is because of the the prophets the 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 the, the elect and they're like the bible tells you uh, the elect shall praise his holy name. As a matter of fact, let me grab that real quick. So when we're praising the name, it's going to be exalted and people are going to know it. Ecclesiasticus 17 and 10, it says, and the elect shall praise his holy name. And the holy names are Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. So I'm going to start off with uh, Micah 4 and 5. It says, for all people will walk every every one in the name of his God. And we will walk in the name of Yahweh, our power forever and ever. All right. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and get it in. Uh, and get it here. So we can look at that up. You'll see where it says LORD in all caps. You look here. Now there's no U, E, Vs, all right, in uh, actual Paleo Hebrew. So when you replace those letters, it's Yahweh, not Yahweh or Yehovah. It's Yahweh, okay? That's the proper name of the LORD, all right? So everybody else has a God and their names, but we are going to walk in the name of Yahweh. Okay. So he has one name. There's many other names of different gods. Okay. But we know the proper name. Okay. The proper name of the Lord. All right. This is, uh, Zechariah. 14 and 9 it says and Yahweh shall be king over all the earth in that day shall there be one Lord and his name one and we looked up that capital letters Lord it says right here Yehovah but you know there's no E V's you know, O's in actual Paleo Hebrew, in the ancient Hebrew, or what they call Phoenician. So it will translate Yahweh. So his name's going to be one singular all over the earth, all right, when he returns. Because everybody's going to know. And every tongue shall confess and every knee shall bow. 
all right, in that day. All right, so his name is One. All right, Psalms 83 and 18. It says, That men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, that's what it says right there, but it's supposed to be Yahweh, all right, art the most high over all the earth. Let me look up this word right there. Like I said, it translates into Yahweh. Okay? So everybody's going to know, but everybody doesn't know now. All right? Once upon a time, people did know uh, this that's the God of the Hebrews, Yahweh. But over time, it's been lost. Okay? Because nobody has been speaking about the God of the Hebrews until an appointed time when the Lord started to wake up his elect. And now the name is prevalent in the earth because of the elect. It's on the internet. It's all, it's on shirts. It's in videos. It's it's all over now. You know, it's on social media. All right, because our people are starting to wake up. All right, we know that the name isn't Jesus or Yahweh. All right, it's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. All right. So with that, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem. Yeah, I wish I.